Welcome back everybody, Marty again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install your first blog in WordPress Direct. This is very exciting. By the end of today, your blog is going to be up and running and getting ready to rank in Google for your terms so that you can get some traffic to test. So, without any delay, let's get right to it. So before you start your installation, you need to have a few things ready. First, you want to have your WordPress Direct account. On uh, the first day of Module 2, I showed you how to sign up for a free WordPress Direct account uh, that we're giving to all the challengers. So if you've done that, then you should have your login email address and password. The next, you'll need a domain name. This is the one that you registered based on the theme keyword that you chose and researched in Market Samurai. You'll need a web hosting account, um, which is hosting that domain, which means the name servers in the domain are pointing to that hosting account. Kenny Goodman should have covered that. You need your category keywords. These are the ones that you've chosen to um, optimize your site around. And then you need a brief um, description. Uh, we suggest uh, 20 to 30 words. Uh, this is an, something optional. You can put it in later but uh, we're just uh, suggesting that you have everything together at the time that you do the installation so you don't forget. Now um, let's go to WordPress Direct. Uh, we're on the home page. Now where do you want to go is the login link. Click that button, enter your details, and then you'll be taken into the members area. Now another good thing about the login page is that it gives you updated uh, news and announcements. Uh, sometimes during the challenge we'll post things here um, that everybody in the challenge needs to know. So when you're logging in just take a glance to the left of the uh, of the login fields and see if there's anything relevant here for you. I'll put in my uh, address now and we will log in. Okay when you're in the members area it looks just like this. This is your um, website dashboard. This is where you have all the sites listed. Since this is a new account, there are no sites in it yet. The two main things you want to do are install your sites and manage your sites. Manage your sites brings you back to this page. And what we want to do now is do an installation, which is going to be this big red button. Now, before we go there, uh, there are a couple other things that I want you to um, have planned ahead for. So let's talk a little bit, just a refresher on web hosting. WordPress Direct can use any cPanel hosting account. That's really a brand name. Uh, cPanel is something that if your hosting account provider has that environment, it'll be explicitly listed. Um, if you don't know of a hosting provider to use, then you can see our FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions, for the list of the hosting providers that we support. The challenge uses HostGator as its uh, preferred hosting provider. We've had run thousands of people through HostGator with no problems. So if you are um, on the fence, then we recommend you choose HostGator. Uh, if this is your first site, uh, then you have no worries. You just get a HostGator account as uh, advised by Kenny. And then if not, uh, what you should do, if you already have sites and you already have hosting accounts, what you can do is make an add-on domain in your cPanel dashboard and use that instead of having to buy a new account just for this site. Right, now the last thing you also want to do is check for an index of listing. You should have pointed the name servers to your hosting account, as shown in the hosting video. And let's go to our, uh, our example site here, which is going to be the Green Tea Supplement blog. You'll see that I have a, a, a listing that says index of. And that's what we call the index of listing. Now if your hosting is set up properly and the domain is pointing at it, you will see this before doing your installation. Now the other thing that you might see if you are new to this and you've just signed up for a HostGator account is the HostGator welcome screen. And that will be the, you know, it'll be kind of bluish and it'll have the picture of the alligator on it. And that's okay too. Um, either one of those, an index of or the HostGator welcome screen is okay. So I'm going to go back into um, the WordPress Direct Control Panel and I'm going to go to this red button here and we're going to click Install New Site. The first thing that you will see is you will be taken to our theme gallery. And uh, in the introduction to WordPress Direct back on day one, I explained our theme gallery. I love putting green here and see what we get. Uh, this looks kind of cool, this green leaves. That's a T site. So um, 
That's all we'll do. We'll say install to a new site here. And that's step one. Now step two is going to be taking the information that we have on our domain and putting it into WordPress Direct so that um, WordPress Direct can put the blog on our hosting account. Now, um, back to the slides for a second. When you set up a new cPanel, you should receive something that looks like this. And if you um, just got a new HostGator account, you should have something that looks like this. Basically, it's the account information for your hosting. And it should have a username and a password. And the, uh, the username and password are what you're going to need to put into the WordPress Direct interface to get the blog installed. So you should have something that looks like this. Go back into your email and find it if you need to. And grab that uh, username and password from your hosting account uh, so that you can use it here. Okay, so back to the installation. Uh, I've grabbed that information. I just put it in a text file for myself here. So I'm going to grab my green tea supplements blog. Green tea. And then the password. So green tea. Uh, the uh, hosting company is HostGator. There's a number of other um, hosting providers, but uh, the challenge, as I said, uses HostGator. Now, what we're going to do uh, is use the keyword information for our website account settings. So what I've done is I've grabbed the keywords for this uh, site uh, that I'm going to use. And the main keyword is um, green tea supplement, right, which matches my domain here. And then I have these other category keywords. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this green tea supplement. And you can just use that theme keyword as your website title. And I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to uh, capitalize it. And then the slogan is really anything you want. Um, you know, um, info on green tea. And uh, you might want to look at your keywords, right? So um, uh, benefits, recipes, uh, yeah. Uh, green tea, benefits, and recipes, right? Benefits, okay. Uh, the email address I'm going to use is just a um, an admin one. This would be your email address that you want to see, receive emails if people comment on the site. And I will put in a password of password uh, for the site. Now this password is how you would access your WordPress administration panel. So um, you do want to remember this password, although we will save it for you in your settings in case you forget it. Uh, for the website keywords, you're going to take the other category keywords that you researched for this and you will paste them in here. So now here we go, we have, oh, and we also want our um, theme keyword in there as well. So we'll put that at the top. There we go. So we have all of our uh, keywords in there. We've put in our hosting information. And at this point, we can say check settings, proceed to next step. All right now in step three, what you're getting is uh, first, we're uh, giving you a, a recommendation of not for for the challenge you want your keywords pretty tightly focused all right i put six in here so that i would bring up this uh this um this warning uh really you want to you want to stick to less than 10. once you start getting more than five you, your your site isn't going to be tightly focused and it's uh a tightly focused site that we want to test these uh, niches with. So um, just take that into consideration. This is just a reminder for you. It's not a hard, fast rule. Now, in this case, uh, this next section is something where um, I'm going to tell you that you will see this in the WordPress Direct interface. This is software setup that gets content for these keywords. And I'm going to ask you to resist the temptation to use that software in the first month of your site. You do not want to use this software um, when you're getting your site established because if you start posting too much content too fast, you can get your site slapped. So what we're going to do, though, is we're going to check these boxes um, just for the, uh, the text and the video, which will install the software and configure the keywords. 
so that in a month's time we can come back and, and use this to flesh out our blog uh, after we've posted some of our own original content there. Um, now, I will also tell you that uh, you should probably pick a password other than password <laughs> for this. It, it, it uh, will uh, license and register the, this software and install this software on your blog for you. And this, this software for content is hosted on your blog. Next thing, leave the default for AdSense. We don't want to show AdSense initially. And Analytics, you can leave that default as well. We will come back here and we will put an actual Analytics ID in here. Later, Emily will be showing you exactly what to do with Analytics. Um, for those of you with premium accounts other than Bronze, there's this option for Buoyant PageRank. Now, for both the content posting software and this Buoyant PageRank plugin, these are videos that we have in the WordPress Direct uh, members area training. This is not something that we're covering in the challenge here. So please just uh, follow along with the settings I've given you and, uh, and uh, leave this plugin uh, disabled for now if you have access to it. And we'll say install website. Now WordPress Direct will take probably 30, 45 seconds and install this blog and add the theme, put all the plugins, configure them and then I will show you what it looks like, okay? All right, so now it's complete. Um, so there's a number of things that you can do as far as start posting content to your blog. And uh, normally you would do it this way. You just click on that and start writing your content here. Now, for the purpose of the challenge, we're gonna be showing you how to do this through Market Samurai to make it easier to go right from your keyword research directly to finding content to post to your blog. So rather than doing it this way, please um, take a look at the next videos, which show you how to do it through Market Samurai. Um, the one th last thing I want to mention to you, once you have your site up and running, first, um, uh, let's go look at it, right? Let's go to the index of, and we'll do a refresh. And you'll see now that there's a blog there. It's got our theme. And it also says, sorry, but you're looking for something that's not here. And that's because we haven't put any content on it. So um, whether you're going to write it through our interface or do it through Market Samurai, you're not going to see anything that you've posted as content unless you put it up there. So um, once you do that, then a number of things are going to happen. First, you'll see it on your home page. And second, you're not going to see any categories until you post content in a category. The WordPress filters them out and, and only shows you the categories that actually have content posted to them. So be aware of that as you're posting content. All right, um, one last thing I want to show you back in WordPress Direct to do for your new blog is go to your website settings. And uh, one thing which we don't have in the installation just to keep the data entry uh, as minimal as possible is this brief description, 30 words or less. Now, you've either already developed this or you can just uh, essentially make it up by looking at your, your keywords. And then I would go to my keywords and grab these again and reuse these in my uh, in my uh, my editor right so uh, green tea health benefits green tea recipes and the reason this is important is that when your site gets indexed uh, this description is going go is what's going to be listed on the Google results um, and so uh, having your keywords in it is actually a good thing. It'll, it'll help the site to rank. And so a short description like this is exactly what you want uh, Google to see when it's uh, trying to figure out whether it should rank your site for these keywords. Okay. So uh, the only last thing I'll mention is if you do like these challenge videos, then you can find more of them at the website uh, that you see on your screen, challenge.co. And in the next videos, we'll be showing you how to post your content.